Hey everyone, welcome to Vinylize. I'm Jarrett New, and today we're going to be talking about my audio setup. All this stuff that you see going on behind me here. Um, I got a comment a few weeks ago from a fellow YouTuber who was wondering about my audio setup and all the components that were involved and all that kind of stuff. So I decided I'd make this video in response to him and also to those of you out there who may be starting your own audio setups. Um, you're buying your first turntable, you're buying uh, some speakers for it and you know maybe like a receiver, an amplifier and you want to know, you know, what, what should you get? Because, um, you know, when I was setting this stuff up, I, I didn't really have any clue. I kind of set it up haphazardly. Uh, so anyway, I, I hope this video can help you guys when you're setting up all your stuff for the first time. Uh, no one taught me. I just kind of taught myself through reading stuff online. So uh, hopefully this can help you guys. So anyway, there's four main components to my audio setup. The first of which is my turntable. Then it's uh, the receiver then the speakers, and then finally the subwoofer. Now, the turntable that I have is the Audio-Technica LP120 turntable. And I've actually referenced it in a couple of other videos, and I'm really happy with it. I love it. It's got really great sound quality. Um, it's, got, it's very accurate as far as its speeds. And this is one of the things that drew me to it whenever I was reading reviews on it online before I bought it. I actually bought it through Amazon.com, and it was about 250 bucks. And uh, I would recommend you guys, if you're in the market for turntables, uh, to pick it up through Amazon if, if you wanted to go with that one. Uh, now, also, I want to say a little disclaimer. I'm not being paid by anyone to, uh, to tell you all this stuff. Um, I'm not being endorsed by Audio-Technica or any other companies. Uh, I don't have any partnerships or anything like that as of the making of this video. Hopefully in the future, maybe I'll get something, but as of the making of this video, I don't, I don't have any uh, of that stuff. So um, all the opinions that I'm giving you are solely uh, from myself. And um, you know, I'm being very honest with you guys as far as what I think sounds good. And the LP120 sounds really good in my opinion. Um, so like I was saying, it's very accurate as far as its speeds. I've read online about horror stories about people that had lesser quality turntables and they'd be playing 33s or 45s or even 78 records and uh, the thing goes out of sync and all of a sudden their records sound really weird because the pitch has been shifted because they're being played at a faster speed or a slower speed than what they're intended to be played at. So uh, that's not good. You, <laughs> you want to uh, you know, find a turntable that plays at proper speeds and the LP120 does. It's a direct drive turntable, which means that um, right below the platter is the motor. So it's very accurate um, and it, it'll ensure that your records are gonna be played the way that they should be played uh, at proper speeds so it won't affect your listening experience. Because um, if you're listening to a really good record, you don't wanna be pulled out of it and you're like, wait, something sounds off. Uh, so it, it won't do that. It also has some DJ features on there. Honestly, I don't really use them that much um, But it's got uh, The option to play a record slower if you want it or play it faster um, Sometimes when I'm listening to digital music I'll slow it down just so that the record will last a little bit longer before I have to lift the needle and flip the record um, so yeah, I mean it, it has that option. You can also play records backwards on it, which I rarely do But I don't know just kind of a cool feature um, But like I said, you know, it can play records at all three speeds So 33 is 45 and 78 so I, I I like that versatility and that's what kind of drew me to the turntable So and there's ways you can upgrade the the turntable you can upgrade the mat you can get like I got a, a deer hide leather mat which is really cool and I got it suede side up so I just found that like the bass sounds a little bit more punchier when you do that. So um, yeah, and I also upgraded the counterweight and I upgraded the, uh, the needle. I got the Ortofon 2M Red on there. Overall, great sounding turntable. So let's move on to the receiver. The receiver I have is the, uh, the Yamaha, uh, it says Natural Sound Receiver. This is the RS201. I picked this one up at Amoeba Records in Hollywood and I really like it. It's it delivers. It's got two channels, and it delivers 100 watts per channel. These little bookshelf speakers that I have connected to it are 75 watts, and the subwoofer that I have on the second channel is 100 watts. So it delivers enough power to both the speakers and the subwoofer. It's a great little receiver. I actually uh, went on eBay and I found an an FM antenna. Uh, it was like it was cheap. It's made in China. It was like eight bucks. 
uh, I bought it and uh, it's like one of those telescoping antennas. So I hooked it up to the back and now I'm receiving FM radio, which is pretty cool. So in addition to, you know, music coming from the turntable and from the records I buy, I also have the option to switch the input and uh, listen to the radio. Uh, here in LA, I love listening to 106, uh, 106.7 K-Rock. Uh, so that's, that's a cool station I like listening to. Also um, K-Earth 101. Um, but it's just kind of cool to listen to the radio in your home. I know a lot of days, I mean a lot of times uh, nowadays, uh, people just only listen to the radio in their cars. And I was the same way until I got this. So I think it's kind of cool to have that option and to be able to listen on multiple sources. Um, I also have this thing connected to my TV so I can listen to CDs as well. It's just, it's really cool to have a receiver. You know, you can, you know, kind of go to different inputs. So it's nice having options. Um, so yeah, I also want to talk about the Mica bookshelf speakers. These are, I actually wrote it down. These are the Mica MB42 bookshelf speakers. They're really impressive. Like I said, they're powered by 75 watts and uh, they deliver crystal clear sound and they also have kind of like mini subwoofers built in um, and they sound great they sound really really good they play digital sounding music uh, like through my through my uh, DVD player and stuff they play digital music really well and they play vinyl really well I mean they're great great little bookshelf speakers they don't sound uh, bad or low quality at all they sound really good so I, I highly recommend you guys pick up the MB42 Mica bookshelf speakers. And finally, just out of camera shot, um, <laughs> trust me, it's down there. This is the, uh, the Pioneer uh, SW8MK2. Um, and it's a 100 watt subwoofer, and it's really good. It's got a, a, a dial in the back that you can, you can crank up, and you can have a lot of bass or just a little bit of bass. Also on the receiver, you can, there are, um, uh, buttons right here where you can add the bass or you can add treble or you can remove treble remove bass You have tons of options when you have a receiver and a subwoofer, you know set up You can you can have so many options You can do so many things and kind of customize the sound the way you want it to sound which was uh, really important to me so Anyway, I mean I that's pretty much how my audio setup uh, all four of those things the turntable the receiver the speakers and the subwoofer and um yeah, it's working really great for me. I really love it. I'm happy with it. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and click here to subscribe. So that way uh, you can get more videos just like this. They'll come right to you and you won't miss a thing. And uh, good luck on all of you setting up your turntable equipment and audio equipment for the first time. I hope you guys uh, set it up uh, well and that you're happy with it, just as happy as I am with mine. And uh, anyway, post a comment below and let me know what your setups are because uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. So anyway, take care and keep spinning that vinyl. See you next time.